for another part of the commentary on the other side. And this time, we are ready to find out what the next matchup is. But today, this number one matchup is going to take off back to the Eastern Conference for tonight's game. And I'm here with Roy Cruz. Hey, folks, and it's going to be a great day in the matchup, and we're ready to have that one all focused out and get ready for this new matchup. It's the Orlando Magic, and they're ready to face on against the New York team of the Knicks. Now, this part of the game is going to be a fantastic one to get back in the game. It's a 2-1 series, but let's find out who can take the next one in and go for another look to extend the lead or to tie the series up. And now we have the next one in the commentaries I have is Brian Anderson. He's also with the commentaries of the crew. And right at the moment we have is Ali LaForce. And in the starting group, Shailen Suggs with Gary Harris. French Wagner with Paolo Banchero. And Carter Jr. in the center. And for the mix, Jalen Brunson with Dante DiVincenzo. With OG Ananobi. Josh Hart and Isaiah Hardenstein. And now it's time to send you on down to the other side of it as we got the Madison Square Garden. Here we go. Game four begins now. See you all later for the post game show. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA playoffs. And inside the locker room, everyone trying to lock in. Get mentally ready for another hard-fought NBA battle. It's Thursday afternoon, and we've got basketball on the agenda. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up against the Orlando Magic. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. On the sidelines, Allie LaForce. A look at Orlando's opening lineup. Wagner and Bancaro at the three and the four. Suggs runs point with Harris next to him. And it's Carter in at the center position. And for New York, OG Ananobi out there with Josh Hart. Then it's Dante DiVincenzo. Then there's Isaiah Hartenstein. And it's Brunson in at the point guard position. And now that we're late into the season, Grant, what do you think teams are trying to accomplish? Well, you know, BA, for the playoff teams, it's all about getting the best seed in matchup possible. And of course, for the lottery teams, just continuing to develop and build when he has. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. And Carroll gets Hart. Pass to Brunson. Now here's DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. And the call is going to be... Call the foul on the Knicks. Knicks. Number three, Josh Hart. His first personal foul. Fouls. against Ananobi. Step back and fire. And it's Wagner missing. And here are the Knicks. DiVincenzo finds Ananobi. Here's Hartenstein. Not going to go that time. Oh, nice D from Carter. Here's Harris. That won't go. This is his first shot of the game. Outside, DiVincenzo. Here's Brunson. Very Shane Brunson. DiVincenzo. Your Knicks. Two. Zero. zero. The extra back. And just over a minute play here to start the game. And Carroll gets Hart. Out to Harris. Five to shoot. Out of bounds. Orlando ball. Possession here. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swing. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Wagner against Ananobi. Here's Wagner. 
down low. And Ben Carroll. And the assist Game time. And with his bigger build, Ben Carroll sets a solid pick. Game time. And he quits two, two. into the open position. And talk about a star from day one, Clark. Paolo Ben Carroll. You know, VA, I love this kid's game. He's got great confidence, terrific body. He's relentless. Plays with a lot of energy. And offensively, there's not much he can't do. I mean, he rebounds. Charlie, one, seven, three. Hicksley, 5 2 You can just see the team was first with him. He never hesitates to find the open guy. Here's Faulkner. Oh, a nice deep from Ananobi. One for five out there, but no worries. Just keep attacking. Outside, DiVincenzo. It's hauled in by the Magic. Inside, here's Carter. Well, Wendell well, Carter Jr. He goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Well, he'll find the wide open team. Orlando Trail. Then they're not fighting for it. Brunson surveys. Out of bounds. Orlando ball. Here's a look at some stats for Jalen Brunson. And so Ben Carroll will bring it up for the Orlando Magic. They trail by one. To the middle. Here's Harris. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty handed. Pass to Ananobi. Here's Hardenstein. He's checked by Carter. By Sarah Hardenstein. He's lead 7-4. Into this first quarter. Offensive foul on Paolo Magic. Paolo Ventura. It's a But it would be hard to mix ball. The call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Now here's Ananobi. Yet to see a basket. Back to Brunson. Over Suggs. And Shirley Brunson. Mixley, 9 4. He's an excellent mid range shooter. Now, Hawker and Carroll outside. Oh, man. Oh, man. Carroll. And he's showing us the hand. Oh, Carroll. Right there. 9 6. All the way to the rack. And with the statement finished, too. Don't know how you stop that, man. Don't. I mean, as a defender, you got to just stash that one in the memory bank and make sure it doesn't burn you the next time. And it's followed by Ben Carroll. Wagner with it. And it's Ananobi picking him up. And it's Wagner off the drive. Up top, Carter. Let's it go from deep. Hartenstein pulls it in. Man, that's his shot. But maybe he was too wide open. Here's Ananobi. Oh, gee, Nixley, 11 to 6. Orlando trailing here. Unlike a lot of drafts, Grant. Time out, Orlando Magic. 2022 for the Magic. Yeah, but I do think they nailed it, taking Paolo Bancaro, a 6'10 playmaker. Bancaro was rookie of the year, and he's certainly a player you can build around. And the Magic call time here. Well, when Josh Hart gets going, his confidence skyrockets, Graham. That seems to be the key for him. Well, his floor game is special regardless. I mean, the rebounding and defense are his bread and butter, B.A. And when he's hitting shots, he becomes the complete package on the wing. teams in the league. 
They put in a lot of work down low. They're an intimidating team when they're attacking the boards. And this team embodies a never give up attitude. This is especially evident on the offensive glass, where they know how to keep plays alive. Joe Ingles. Second is this wrong? Markel Holtz. Orlando Trail. This offense is eight. We're seeing them put it all together now. Burks passes to McBride. Bogdanovich on the wing. Ingles defending. Here's Burks. Pass to McBride. Achua with it. Six to shoot. Goes back up. And Nixley, 13-8. Burks against Fultz. Shoots over Robinson. Fultz can't get it to go. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. You know, that's a foul. Number 21. Defense. Faulkner, well, he he's first one to go He's so first team foul. Getting positioning to alter shots. And he finds ways to come up with a number two. Hicks Farm, number three foul. Number 23, the Mitchell Robinson. Two shots. Two shots for them getting back into the postseason, B.A. I mean, they play great team defense and pride themselves on getting stops. here in New York, one of the best home court advantages in the NBA. Well, B.A., you have to think about the history of this building. It's incredible. I mean, when the Knicks are playing even remotely well, this place is rocking. And he ends up missing two minutes from any unit first quarter. Magic shooting 33% of the first quarter. Room here for Anthony. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Bogdanovich on the wing. Isaac covering. And the call will be against Mo. Blocking foul on the match. That's Faulkner. The second first goal foul. This point on. Second team foul. Already. A minute 42 left in the first quarter. McBride passes to Robinson. Six on the shot clock. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. You know, with his reach, timing, and agility, being able to go side to side, Isaac has a chance, I think, to be an all-league. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, Orlando trail. they don't hesitate. 13 10. McBride passes to Robinson. Mitchell Robinson! lead by five. Knicks lead 15 to 10. That was their game plan coming in. Here's Fultz. They get the rebound. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what guys, that will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Two for one opportunity here. Hey, if I'm in their shoes, I'd go for it. Ingles from outside. The rebound by Bogdanovich. For New York, they've gotten 7 of 13 shots to drop to the paint. Pass to Burks. Back to Bogdanovich. Over Fultz. Oh, Bogdanovich. And on the inside. 17-10. Put points on the board. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. And here's Anthony. No points so far. Is it? No good there. And so that's the end of the first quarter. This quarter with us. New York Knicks, 17. Right now, Orlando Magic, they're taking three shots. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this.
we played through one quarter in this one. All right, before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Knicks? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort, defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. Orlando trailing here. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Magic starting the second. And Carroll plays four with Carter Jr. at center. Then there's Jalen Sucks, then there's Faulkner, and it's Black in at the two spot. Here's Sucks. Runs in defending. Over Faulkner. Jay Rensey! Nixley, 19 10. Veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. The coaching staff encouraging our attendees to the They think it helps his confidence moving forward. It's hard on the wing. Back to Brunson. From 12. Dante Vincenzo. Nixley. 21 12. From below the free throw line. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, before his one season at Duke, Paolo Bancaro gave the message no for pressure three. on his left three. forearm. He said, quote, there's going to be a lot of people who are out there fighting against five other guys. So it's like, quote, what really is it if it's just basketball? That's a good point. No big deal. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Brunson. Nine points in the game. Outside, DiVincenzo. Shot clock at five. Here's Adenobi. The rebound by Carter. Magic shooting just 37% so far in this one. Second quarter play with around two minutes gone so far. Here's Suggs. Two shots. Jalen Suggs. To a good start. Really good concentration for Sims right. here. Pretty good body control. Orlando Trail. 21 17. Let's go, Knicks! It's hard on the way. Back to Brunson. Pass to Ananobi. Yeah. OG Ananobi! For Jalen Brunson, Nixley, 24 17. Time out, Orlando Magic. time in New York when they face the Knicks. Oh, it really just wasn't a fun game for them. Their offense looked stagnant and they couldn't get anything going. Yeah, they had no answer for them. They simply got outplayed and outworked. Looks like a New York Knicks definitely really want to have something back already, but this might be what they're taking if they're looking to see what they have. But all that takes in there, it will be finding another pressure in there. But hopefully on that, might be a takeover right in between of those two. And we'll be able to find out which one goes in. Coming up will be the halftime show, as we will have Ernie Johnson along with Katie Jeff Smith and Chabonia on their side of the court. That will be right here after the first half is complete, before the second half begins in the third quarter. Now back to you, Brian. Fourth in opponent points per game. Fourth in points off turnovers. And they are in the top ten in steals. This is a team that will force turnovers if you're careless with the ball. And their ability to hold down the score against opponents means they don't have to enter desperation mode offensively very often. That's a big plus. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebound, especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. To the inside, 10 feet away. Dante Ivancento. Mixley, 26 17. Three minutes of action thus far in the second. And so it's defensive free second violation on the hard side. All right, guys. Right, the one one approach one. we've seen so far for the Knicks. Their chemistry. That's what we're seeing so far in this one to me. Look at the number of assists they've been able to rack up so far. And not only that, you Bob. like how they're turning defense into offense, forcing turnovers and capitalizing. You 
think of Wagner mostly for his offense, but Clark, he's a great defender as well. You know, Ben, he really is. He moves his feet well, both laterally and up and down. He's got great size at 6'10". He can step out and defend guards in the pick and roll. Very versatile defensive Fun end. spot. He's got a nice for three. And how he goes about it. Wagner always a threat from downtown. I love the efficiency and solid mechanics of his shooting stroke. It's hard on the wing. Pass to DiVincenzo. Shoots from the elbow. Dante DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo. Mitzley. In the 28-21. quarter. He's finding his offense. Now Ben Carroll. And the lob disrupted, not to be, to the middle. Dante DiVincenzo from Jalen Brunson, Mixley, 30-21. to 21. Well, I agree with you, four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now here's Carter, taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. Not his best night, and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. Let's go Knicks! Let's go Knicks! OG of an OB! Nixley, 32 21. I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. Black. Offline with a three. I'll tell you what, they rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Now here's Hanalobi. Pass to DiVincenzo. Dante DiVincenzo! From Jalen Brunson, Nixley, 34 21. Timeout. Timeout early in the match. Schedule. Losing to the Cavs. Yeah. Yeah, they made a lot of plays and they were in it until the end. Just couldn't do enough to get the win. Yeah, you know, they didn't have their best stuff, but they were still getting after it, so you got to really appreciate the effort and hustle. If you're all heading to New York City, we've got a great uh, events for you. For the population of since last year, as a BFDI TBOT for its episode 6 and the Anime Sanity Invitation of episode 14, at a Gerald W. Lynch Theater for the BFDI Anime Sanity Experience Show. We're going to be coming back right now, but this time the new location is at the NYU Stir Ball, and this will be their next part of the location here, right by Central Park. That will be the next one part of it on its location, so if you have your tickets, I hope you'll be there because it's going to be a lot of fun out there. And if you already have subscribed to Animation Epic and Jack and Jellyfy, thank you so much for everyone with your support. It's really all it means to me and to my channel. Thank you all for, uh, for one of our biggest moments here. We just finally got 600 subscribers. I mean, thank you all so much for everybody. I mean, this is my accomplishment to enjoy it all. All right, back to Brian. For the Knicks, Achua's checked in for Hartenstein. Bogdanovich comes in for Ananobi. Something too slow on the goal. In for Brunson. So for the Magic, Anthony with it. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. No dice from nine feet. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounds have certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Now here's Fultz. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Yes, it's good. It's good decision making. Scopes the situation. Puts the pass right on the mark. And here are the four. 23. Basket by Orlando. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to McBride. Hard against Isaac. Hard can't hit. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Two minutes. There's a minute 54 left in the first half. 
outside Bogdanovich. Clock at six. Shoots over Ingles. Oh, my Bogdanovich! Makes a 36 23. Orlando has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Fultz into the lane. Over to Chua. Fultz finds Wagner. And here's Isaac. There's the three. And he's in. Now one for two. Three. Three. And Isaac takes no time getting his shot off. He's got a lead. Orlando Trail. Release. 36 26. Here's McBride. No lane basket yet. It's hard on the wing. Pass to McBride. Chua inside. Defended by Wagner. Nice D from Wagner. And here's Wagner. He'll bring it up for the Orlando Magic. It's a 10-point game. Isaac's shot is off. New York has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Out to the right wing. Bogdanovich on the wing. Ingles defending. Back to Hart. Here's Bogdanovich. Here's Achua. It's hauled in by Isaac. Showing great intensity around the rim. It's part of why he's a respected defender. He's not going to give up all these finish at the rim. I mean, he gets this guy's attention. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not a Joe Ingles. He's a lot. You know, the defense gets their money's worth for the next foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Substitutional for New York Knicks, number 23, four, Mitchell Robinson, and number 18, Alex Burke. And Ingles drops them both. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Outside Bogdanovich. Down low, it's McBride. That's the end of the first half. New York Knicks, 38. Orlando Magic, 28. In the quarter. Now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ball game? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Valley, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. New York holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They lead by 10. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? You guys know I appreciate when the team takes a commitment to attack in the painted area. When you get those high percentage looks, good things seem to happen. So good this week. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about Orlando? Ice? The question is now, can they shake it off and get back in the groove? Another option is compensate by going to the rent. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And 
Yeah, happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. It's been quite a game for Dante DiVincenzo. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Josh Hart. Then there's Isaiah Hartenstein. And it's out of nowhere. No the quarter, you small forward. That's For Tom Thibodeau's five as we get going in the Ball second. Orlando trail, 38-31. Outside Brunson. Pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Outside Ananobi. DiVincenzo. Pass to Ananobi. Over Wagner. Oh, Ananobi. Ananobi's got the lead. Misley, 40-31. Orlando trailing here. Wagner for three. Offensive rebound. Here's Carter, and it's rejected. They get it back. On the wing sucks. From outside the arc. The Knicks pull it in. Hart's got five rebounds tonight, and they just continue to dominate the boards. Guys, I think they've simply been a more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. And now here's Brunson. He's got nine. To the paint. Here's DiVincenzo. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Pass to Harris. Let's it fly. It's rebounded by New York. Hart's got six rebounds now in the game. Only 20% from the field to start this half. To me, it looks like their opponent may have made some nice adjustments. And an OE passes to Brunson. Brunson takes it himself. Oh, and there's Orlando the, pop. the shot. Number four, for Jalen Suggs. First His first personal foul. First, 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 first team foul. Brunson's speed. He makes a change. Two little races. Jalen Brunson. At the line, two shots. the first and each year Brunson seems to get better and that's a testament to his impressive work ethic and drive both good from the line that time Wagner, he'll bring it up for the Orlando Magic. They trail by 11. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. The Knicks are in the nation's media capital, the coach Tom Thibodeau said. I've never felt pressure. I've been at this a long time. I approach it the same way. I put everything I have into each and every day. I'm willing to live with that result. There's no one, no one who studies this team harder than I do. No, he has made the difference for sure. Thanks, Allie. Here's Hartenstein. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Shot clock at six. And an Obi for three. Basket is Brunson. 45-31. Here's Suggs. Jalen Suggs. Suggs has got seven. Orlando Trail. 45-33. No hesitation there. And for the Berlin native, Franz Wagner. His NBA career is off to a terrific start. Yeah, six ten, he's extremely great. Dante Vincenzo. And all from Jalen Brunson. He's in Knicks lead, 47-33. His teammates. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's Ananobi. Oh, Ananobi. Nixley, 49-33. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pass to Harris. 
and it's Brunson with the rebound. Brunson's got four rebounds in the game. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken Isaiah the the Livingstone. So Nixley, 51-33. Just firing on all cylinders. Time out, Orlando Magic. This game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. Orlando calls timeout. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. The NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live life without it. Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sweet, gone. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We look for the Eastern Conference standings. We are seeing what the game is going to be look like. This is probably a close game, and they're trying to figure it out. The Knicks can battle against him. Right in between, in between the Sixers or the Celtics. Celtics are back at home in Game 5. They'll start off here first before the next game happens on the other side of the Western Conference. That'll be for the next game underway soon. All right, now a chance to examine the rebounding numbers over the past few months for Isaiah Hartenstein. In the last couple of months, the rebounding totals have taken a bit of a dive for him. Let's see if he can refocus and put more effort on the glass. Now here's Wagner. Six points for him. And Carroll outside. And that oh, was good. And Carroll. And Carroll's got six. Oh, Orlando Carroll. Too strong. 51. To be back. To stop playing Carroll. Outside Brunson, pass to DiVincenzo. Outside Hart, and it's followed by Vaquero, and the Magic pushing it up now, and the foul is Six foul, he number 11, he's got a great set. He's going to push a little foul, Brunson for a team foul. Really good aggressive take. Jaren Suggs. No the choice but to foul the shooting two. Had a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Knicks. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. Yeah, something else I love that they're doing is driving into the lane and getting the shots they want in penetration. First free throw is good. In Substitutional on the court. Number 23, Mitchell Robinson. You know, injuries are an ugly part of the game, B.A., and he's had to overcome quite a bit here early in his career. Such a promising young talent. But I do believe when you look at the long road in front of him that he's going to show you how special a player he is. And he makes both free throws. I like a lot of things about Suggs. His toughness and physicality, though, kind of stand out, especially at both ends of the floor. And I think he just out of bounds. Throw Orlando out. ball. Out of bounds. It'll be Orlando's ball. So for the next three on the floor for the Knicks. Number 44. Oh, Alvadonovich. And number five. Perry. Akua. Now here's Fultz. No points yet. Now Ingles over Brunson. Another miss by Orlando. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game is going. You got a piece of it. Excellent timing that time from Fultz. And I like the edge that he plays defense with. That's impressive for a young guy. Robinson with a steal. Passes to Brunson. Brunson! Alex Burke. Mixley, 53-37. Here's 
Suggs. Nine points in the game. Isaac shot is off. Here's Brunson. And Shaylan Brunson. Six lead, 55 37. Remarkable poise there inside. Here's Fultz. Markel Fultz. Fultz has got his first basket. Orlando Trail, 55 39. That's been their MO this evening. Here's Brunson. He's got 15. Right side, Bogdanovich. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Outside Brunson. Six on the shot clock. That is Jalen Brunson. Nixley, 57 39. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. The last 10 points have all come off assist. Here's Suggs. Of it outside Ingles. Joe Ingles for three. Ingles got seven. Oh. You know, he doesn't rack up a lot of trail. 57 42. I think he's going to continue to grow in that area. Brunson passes to Bogdanovich. Outside Burks. Roman Bogdanovich. Now it's Burks. He's got three assists. Mixley. 59-42. from three since halftime. On the wing, Isaac. That three's off the mark. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Now here's Bogdanovich. Six points for him. Bogdanovich on the wing. The 17-footer. Robin Bogdanovich! Mixley, 61 42. Set them apart today. Simply taking advantage of what the defense has given them, and they've really made the most of it. Basket counts. Mark out Holtz. It's important that Fultz can take the in between. 61 44. Because he knows when to pull up. Runs in with it. 17 points in the game. Take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works. Or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. On the court for the Magic, Harrison Wagner out on the wings. Ben Carroll plays the four with Carter Jr. at center. And it's Anthony in at the point. Harden's shot, no good. Here's Orlando. 17-point game. Pass to Carter. Now here's Wagner. Back to Carter. Window Carter Jr. No margin for error that time. Well, that was true. 61 46. Carter Jr. Timeout. New York Knicks. Yeah. Adjustment and more points. Yeah. 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 The Nuggets and the Warriors are ready to meet rematch again here at the Golden State in San Francisco. As right now with the Gets for this part of the next game, it's a do or die, win or go home for the Golden State Warriors. They've already lost three games already, but they're trying to look for an answer back if they can try to let them handle it over to get back into this, uh, this lineup. 
And for the better offensive on a line change, this one has to be all for anybody as the as the Pelicans are about to face against the next opponent. They ought to be in between the Timberwolves or the Suns for the next matchup. For the other side of it, Warriors are trying to get right into the game, but this might be Nuggets moving on, and they'll have to play against the winning team against the Clippers or the Mavericks. That'll be all for the next game. Keep an eyes on it on the Bracket Series lineup. Now back to Brian, and he will have more. Next game in the way after this. The Knicks making a switch here. And an Obi's checked in. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Tom Thibodeau coaching his team during that last break. And they told their team, no easy threes. Let's guard that arc. Don't let anyone get an open look. With the lead, they want to close this one out with their perimeter defense. Let's see if they do, Brian. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Now here's Wagner. Pass to Anthony. From downtown, sinks the trail. Oh, Anthony. Anthony's got his first three points of the game. Or they're going to try the defense. 61, 49. From the corner. It's hard on the wing. Inside. Here's McBride. And the 10 footer finds it. Oh, right. Finding him inside. Next lead. 63, 49. Side. Launches a three. Hart pulls it in. Hart's got rebound number seven tonight. Here's Ananobi. Ooh, he took oh, a number five. Number five. Follow the bench arrow. His second personal foul. First team foul. OG Ananobi. The line. Two shots. Two shots. Trying to get that bucket in there. He's he's trying to make that one feel hard. But that one won't pay it off the price if he has more. And the second free throw is good. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Now Anthony, down low. Carter. Lindo or Carter. Capable system. I love Paul watching Anthony set up his team. Or Lander Trail. 64. One to shot one. to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's McBride. I don't know if he's on the wing. Six over Anthony, and the Knicks miss again. And so it's Carter who brings up the ball for the Magic. They play a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Now here's Anthony, and it's Harris. Harris. That time on the assist by Anthony. Assist from Harris has got his first points well, this one. It just looks well, like they're well, six and four, fifty-three. That's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse for them. Orlando's going one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Anthony. And without oh, the deficit, he's in the single digits. Anthony's got five points in the quarter. Oh, and why go away from attacking the side if the D has no answer for you? Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Here's McBride. Passes to McBride. Hart from long range. Three! Josh! Hart! Triple his first basket of the game. Next lead, 67-55. No question about it. They found the tennis rhythm from Don Swart. One move ahead of the defense. Sorry, Harris. And then Orlando the Trail, 67, well 57. Done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Here's DiVincenzo, and it's Orlando with a rebound. Here's 
Here's Harris. And Ananobi pulls it down. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Pass to DiVincenzo. Over Harris. DiVincenzo can't hit. The Magic have gotten six of eight shots to fall during this fourth. Anthony with it. Your foul. Miles McBride. Brunson with second first floor foul. First team foul. Coming on to the board number 11. Jalen Brunson. have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. And they'll be on the wing. Hardstein passes to Brunson. He's cheering. Brunson. Isaiah Hardstein. Mixley. 69-57. percentage shots. Harris outside. on the way, lets the three fly, finds Fox from beyond the three. One triple for him in the first half. Orlando is here. The next one will lead. 16. Outside Brunson. Outside, DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Right side, Ananobi. Six to shoot. Here's Hardenstein. And a foul. Orlando foul. Making a change here. So Fultz just check in. Orlando Magic, number 20, Markel Volts. And he's good on the second. Orlando has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. To the middle. Here's Ben Carroll. Ben Carroll. Oh, the that's true. Oh. <laughs> They're not messing around. Not Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Seven, the six, 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 six. Three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. Brunson against Fultz. It's hard on the wing. Hardenstein. Isaiah Hardenstein. Sixth lead by 10. Sixth lead. 72-62. The more shots he gets from here on out. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. The Knicks have gone four for ten in the fourth. Pass to Brunson. Back to DiVincenzo. Hard on the wing, covered by Van Carroll, and it's three second violation all in session. Orlando Ball. And here's Wagner, he'll bring it up for Orlando, trailing by ten. From the arc, the shot is good. Fultz making the three. Wagner's got the goal in this quarter. This Orlando trail, 72 65. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Now here's Hart. Pass to Hartenstein. Number Carter. And yeah, that one's low. Wagner outside. Now Carter. Now here's Ben Carroll. To the paint. Fultz. Oh, Bill Fultz. 
now only a this five. This New York lead. Oh, now well, well, zero. Boys from four. Well, they're they're trail. Team. Uh, seven, eight, six, seven. Seven. Buckets like that. Everybody on their feet. Now here's Munson. Pass to Hart. Here's DiVincenzo. Three is up. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And here's Harris. Fires for three. Hart pulls it in. And he commits the intention. Well, the foul. Bob Ventura. This is third personal foul. Third to team foul. This is their chance to stretch the lead, Grant. Yeah, it's a must. They have to well, execute to avoid the big Gary mistake. Harris. And they go to the this intention. First personal foul. Third to team foul. foul. Dante DiVincenzo and a line to two shots. First free throw is good, and that increases the lead to six. Boy, the upside DiVincenzo has is obvious. I mean, now it's up to him to continue working on his game and keep getting back. So they get to both. Five out of one imagine. Making the most of this trip to the line and helping them extend their lead. Orlando calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth. Your thoughts, guys? It's hard to see whether they have enough time for a quick shot and a foul. I agree with you. Time is not on their side, but that's really their only hope, so I'm sure that's what they'll try to do. All right, it's time now to present your New Balance Player of the Game. Brian? And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Jalen Brunson. Yeah, you know, he kept outdueling the defense over and over. No matter how hard they worked to keep up with him, it didn't phase him. His shooting percentage clearly reflects how unstoppable he was. Well, he's getting in a groove at the perfect time, just as they're getting ready to do battle in the postseason. Off here for the Sixers versus Celtics, and then with the Western Conference of the game, we have another great matchup in between the Clippers and the Mavericks back in Los Angeles for our next part of the matchup. And then back in for tonight's game, we've got a great ones to take here as we have it all coming down. It's the Cavaliers, and they are facing against the other team of the Indiana Pacers at Market Mortgage with us for tonight's game. And finally, the last part of the game, you all always have to remember about the Suns and the Wolves here at Target Center at 9.30 p.m. This will be a part of the next matchup on its way before the other side of it comes in. We'll see them very soon. Back to you, Brian. left to play in the fourth. And that's the game! The Orbitz, 74. Orlando Magic, 67. With the win. 
the momentum shifted away from them a few times. Folks, well, well, thank you for joining us here for tonight's game. Of course, we hope you all have a great night and get home safely. That's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grand Hill, Alley Divorce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. So long, everybody. And to Center Beast, I'm out. All right, thank you so much, everybody. And right now it's time to see what's going on for the static up in between the Knicks and the Magic. We have 55% of Jupiter field goals here for the New York Knicks. Van three points was only 35 for Orlando Magic. Van three throws was 60 for New York Knicks with eight, 42 and four second chance points, points in pain, and fast break points with the New York Knicks. 25 bench points was happening here for Orlando Magic. Van 27 assists was putting in for offensive rebounds with 9 and 30 for defensive rebounds with 4 steals and 2 blocks, 7 turnovers and only 3 team fouls for New York Knicks. 4 dunk in the performance here for the Orlando Magic and now it's back over again to just find someone else by. 19 biggest lead for the New York Knicks and then it was time possession 18-3 for the New York Knicks. And with only timeout marks remaining, with only two. Well, it's been a great game for so far, and this one is really like all for everyone who has been here and trying to keep that one onto the site. And now it's time for you, Roy Cruz, for your three star players of the game. All right, thank you. Starting off with the third star player of the game, we go right into here as we go to Dante DiVincenzo, with 14 points, one rebound, and only three assists is put in it. And he only got 6 out of 13 field goal range, and now with only just only, only the missing of the two three-pointers that he had made from the outside. But he only had 20 performance on his effort, and he had made this one a clear game, and he has done before. Excellent performance for the third star player. Number two, as we gain things right here on the other side of it, as we got another player, OG Ananobi. 15 points, two rebounds, two assists, and two steals with 6 out of 7 field goal attempts. Two three-pointers is made, and it's only 19 performance effort. He's done really well in Game 4, but Game 5 will be him to take. And your number one star player of the game for your New Balance all goes to Point Guard's Rule. Does have it all. Take from here, Jalen Brunson. With 19 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists, 8 and 11 field goal range, and 1 three-pointer has definitely made, and only had 35 performance effort. He just had that one here coming down there right away, and this one is a fast time to be here. And ripped off score away. All right, thank you so much, dear boy. And this one was an excellent game. We'll see you back soon for game five and number two after this. Yep, it's going to be fantastic however this is. I mean, hopefully everybody's enjoying it. Well, I hope you're all enjoying it too, and we'll see you all again later. We're going to knock some warriors for the final game of the NBA playoffs. Let's get back into work and find out what they've got. Peace out for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. This is Gangsta and Roy Cruz. See you all. Peace. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.